Hey YouTube. This is Goth the King of Judah video. My Highway of Life CD is up. I know I got three CDs on iTunes, Blood Cemetery, Dark and Days, and the Highway of Life. I'll post a link for it in this video and on my um YouTube homepage. I'm pretty excited actually. Actually. Now for a while I thought, okay, no one's gonna buy my shit, but people have actually been buying my music. I know I have twenty some dollars, like twenty seven dollars in some sense, I believe, on my tune. Let's just check my tune core real quick and um, share with you. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited that I got um, sales on uh, tune core or whatnot. That's, that's cool. So let's just uh, check my tune here and um, share with you guys. I'll log in with my email and uh, my password. <laughs> Which you guys aren't going to know because. <coughs> but, um. Let's see. <coughs> let's see. Yeah, you set up with your email account and a password and you upload music from your computer it's pretty cool it's like a dollar for a song and then after two songs it's like 49.99 which is like 50 bucks so it's pretty legit let's see You know, one day I kind of check my chin core catch to kind of humor myself and think, nah, no one's made a sale, you know, I'm never going to make a sale. And lo and behold, I had a sale. I'm like, dude, sweet. <laughs> I now have $27.32 on my available balance. Coolness. I go to my sales on my account. Come on, there we go. Darkened Dates is what's making the money right now. It's pretty cool. I'll click on that. Yeah, I got my own password, my own email account, fortunecore.com. And all that, so, yeah. March 2011, iTunes in Canada, CA. March 2011, iTunes Australia, NZ. January 2011, iTunes UK slash European Union. Thank you guys and who are pushing my music. Thank you very much. Copies of Bones in the Ashes, the songs too. I made about $1.86 on it. And nine copies of Funeral Songs sold $0.94 cents per song. Releases, $24.51 from three sold. Songs, two eighty dollars from three sold. Stream zero dollars zero zero cents. Total earned for twenty seven dollars and thirty two cents in this period. So yeah. Now what makes me a real musician versus these faggots who keep going to arc music industries and pay, having their parents pay them to sing some bullshit mainstream song and making it big. One, I don't do auto tune all that bullshit. I'm actually alternative metal. Two Real music is about expression, you know. These kids are singing about sex, cars, and partying, and they move up to drive, you know. And it's all the same. It is Justin Bieber, Rebecca Black, Devin Fox. It's all the same. Auto tune bullshit. And to me, auto tune is an excuse to show you can't sing. In fact, I was watching South Park with my dad just recently, and uh, we saw the episode where Cartman kills where Cthulhu kills Justin Bieber. I just about pissed myself laughing. I forgot how funny it was. And of course, South Park makes fun of goth kids, which I even laughed, because I can only laugh at myself, you know? Those aren't actual goths, those are the stereotype that people believe to be goth. Kind of like, oh, if you see a guy walking down the street in a pink shirt and tight jeans, he must be gay. You assume by his looks, right? That's kind of how it goes with goth. People see the dark clothing and think, oh, just mysterious assholes or whatever, but, 
or not. You know, I'm, I'm an asshole on occasion, but that's off topic. Anyway, I'm struggling to make it. I'm a real musician, you know. So wherever you are for buying my music, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Because <laughs> for a while, I thought I was going to make any sales. I thought I was going to be, you know. My fourth and final CD will be The Darkness. That'll be my fourth CD released after Highway of Life when it's posted. I'll post a video and a link in my channel. And that's all season I'm going to post until I make it big. I might make more. I might not. I don't know. But how about a sample of what my CD sounds like? So I'm just going, you know, off of... What do you think? It's cool. I'm just getting the songs here. Just like this. Life can fucking suck. This song after this song is going to play through a lot because I really like this song I made. Okay, this next song I'm just going to play through a chunk of it and then, yeah. I I compose some music in GarageBand with my guitar. If you've seen that before, my BC Rich. And I sing to it and then add beats to it and stuff. And then I send it to my iTunes list. And then I just click and drag the song to my desktop. And then I want to upload it, upload it to June Chords. Pretty simple. And 50 bucks for an album, you know, you could have, after two songs, no matter how many songs you have, it's 50 bucks. Versus like $1,000 in the studio per minute, you know, so it's cheaper and doesn't quite get out there as quickly, but it's still cool, you know. What music makes you feel? Like Pink Floyd, for instance. My musical inspirations, Pink Floyd, Ozzy Osbourne, Cradle of Filth. My musical idols, Danny Filth, it's in Cradle of Filth, and Ozzy Osbourne. I also like Linkin Park, they're pretty cool. I like a lot of music actually, but those are my three biggest influences. Really, Manson's pretty cool too.
The samples don't really do it justice. If you want to hear more of it, check out my CD on iTunes, all my CDs if you like. Um, they're pretty cool. I'm alternative metal. Basically, it's black metal, gothic, hip hop, rap, and chases of techno mixed together. It sounds pretty sick. It's definitely not mainstream. It's definitely original, you know? Um, so, yeah. And the problem with my music, though, is it's not popular. That's what I said because it's not like the trendy shit that's popular right now. Which kind of amuses me, actually. People who hate it won't shut up about it. They keep bitching about it and rather than support other artists. I mean, I bitch about it too, obviously. But I still support other artists that I like, rather than spending every waking minute on YouTube going, fuck all these assholes, you know. It's amusing because um, I get, uh, I've gotten a couple of um, mainstreamer fans on my channel trolling, if you will. I just want to share with you the comments. <laughs> I'm not going to read the names, just the comments. Because I'm not going to give them the attention on their channel. I just want to read their comments because they amuse the fuck out of me. <laughs> my response to them are perfect. But... Uh, my Devin Fox sucks for you guys. Response to Outback Zach. Check out his channel. It's freaking awesome. And his videos are hilarious. Uh, okay. <clears throat> the first of the comments came from... Both these are... Judging by the comments and the usernames. Underage girls listen to this boy band crap. Um, <clears throat> okay, the first one... By some chick, Devin Fox will go further in life than you. I was fine and said, No one, I was fine with, No, once my music takes off, I will be bigger than all these of these mainstream fags put together. You sound like a little girl who needs to listen to some real music like Pink Floyd or Ozzy Osbourne or Cradle of Filth, but each chick her own. You like shitty mainstream music and I don't, so why do you be even bother, even bother to comment on a video? That bashes Devin Fox when you like him because you know I'm right in this video. Autotune is an excuse to show you can't sing. History is repeating itself. It's kind of backward to what I said about in the earlier video. And, <clears throat> and, th and this other chick commented, What the F are you wearing on your eyes and hands with an F still of the actual fuck? <laughs> I said, um, my response to that was somewhere in here. I don't know what the fuck happened to it. Hmm. Um, uh, my response, I deleted it by accident. So I'm response with... Eyeliner, black nail polish, and a gauntlet ring. Booyah! Because before that, I made a response. I forgot to mention the nail polish one. Anyway, and she said, well, I don't think you should wear them because they look absolutely foul. So my response was so perfect. I said, well, I like wearing them, and no snot-nosed 12-year-old beaver butthead fan is going to stop me. Why don't you go watch Glee and cry about it while doing your shitty gymnastics, because I so don't give a shit what you mainstreamers think of me. Because we are from two different crowds. I like what I like, and you like what you like. Each of his or her own. I'm just stating my opinion, and if you don't like it, then get off YouTube, because everyone's allowed to state their opinion on YouTube. <laughs> Um, I don't know why it's too big deal that we're eyeliner and nail polish and a gauntlet ring on my channel. It's like, people get so pissy over nothing. It's kind of amusing, actually. But, this is Gothic King with you in the video. Thanks for watching. Check out more guitar playing on my channel. Yeah.